Hi everybody and welcome to Solid Code. In this video I'm going to show you this Sudoku application and I'm going to share the code with you. And so first of all I know I haven't been uploading too much videos recently but it's because I'm working and I'm still studying at the university so I don't have too much time to upload videos but I hope then in a few months I will be uploading more videos. So let's start with this. Basically we have a Sudoku application made with me, the stack me. So that's the we are we are using a MongoDB for the storage of the games and the users and the relationship between them. And also we are using Node and Express for the server side and Angular for, for the components. And let's see what it does. Uh, first of all we have how to play we can click numbers from here and put it inside a grid so let's try that for example if I want to put a one here I can do it I want to put I don't know a two here I can delete it also if I try to put a nine here I can't because here's a nine so if I try it's gonna throw an exception and um, so another thing we can do is select uh, different sudokus from the uh, of different difficulties for example here we have a medium here we have a hard so and the difficulty of these sudokus are taken from this page web sudoku so thanks to that page and also we can generate new games basically these new sudokus are generating by the backtrack algorithm but with a small change because we are choosing the options when the algorithm is running we are choosing the options randomly so that's gonna be able to generate different sudokus each time we we do generate new game so see i can generate new games and i can play here and everything it's gonna look the same so for example let's see uh, I mean, this is the coup let's try to solve it by backtrack okay it's solved basically what this algorithm does is i send this grid sorry this grid like this to the server and i say server please solve this sudoku for me so the server does a response with the Sudoku solved. So that's basically a solve by truck and communicating client and server side. So I'm going to reset it and then we have a backtrack step by step where we can see each recursive call. So as you see, the algorithm goes step, step by step. And basically it's gonna take longer obviously because it has to show every step we are doing so that's it I think it looks fine there there you go it's solved so I can reset the game and also I can apply some techniques for the elimination of options in a Sudoku one of those is naked single basically what naked single does is to eliminate all the spots that only have one valid option and uh, here uh, the naked single couldn't delete uh, options so let's see if hidden single can there you go let's try naked single again so it can't <laughs> so let's try another sudoku i'm going to try with this one I think I have another hard Sudoku that's gonna look better when it's solved let's try with this one so there it goes the hidden single and naked single only could do that I want this one so let's try with hidden single so there it goes Let's try with naked single again. Only two. Hidden single, only one. Naked single. 
Okay. It seems like it's gonna solve it. Okay, so the Sudoku is all basically here. I can reset the game and I can step uh, backtrack step by step again. Also, I forgot to mention that, for example, if here I want to stop here, I can run the backtrack step by step, and those options that we have here are going to help the backtrack step by step because they are being heuristics to that algorithm. I mean, these options are validate, so they won't crash with the backtrack. So I think it's a nice feature. Also, let me reset the game again. Also, obviously we can save and load games. So I'm going to generate a new Sudoku. Here we have this one and I'm going to put this six here. And this one, I'm going to put it here. So let's see, I'm, I want to save this much. Weaponer, I'm going to put YouTube three. So the mesh is saved. I'm going to generate some new Sudokus here. And I'm going to load that much. So here's the match. It was uh, saved at 8.29 here. So I'm going to choose it and let's go like we like we left it. So let's run our algorithm and it has to solve it again. So basically that's what this Ming application does. I'm going to share the code with you in some days after my professor finished the checking of the project. So it, basically that's it. Also I hope to do some tutorials about Yoroku because it's a nice I it's a nice way to upload your projects. And also I wanted to thank my partners in this project. They are Michael Chen, Daniel Armas, and Kimberly Olivas. We did this project and I'm really happy with the results. So thanks for watching and see you next.